Here's all frog here. Let's play GeoGuessr. We've been challenged by Sagittarius. There's apparently an interior location in this challenge, but since it's not World Interiors, I have been given permission to escape it. This looks like one of two places. Either we are in the Scottish Highlands or we're in New Zealand. Unfortunately, most of the clues that we will look for to discover that are the same. However, that is an EU license plate for sure. Uh, EU style, anyway. So if New Zealand uses that style of license plate, that doesn't help. But I suspect they do not. And that, indeed, we are in the Scottish Highlands. Did I just sleep right through this town? National... Something? National town something? So, I have no idea. National something. Trust. National trust. T U R T R U S T. Yes. National trust. Something head farms. Something. Dorset? No. There's no way this is Dorset. I mean, I suppose it could be. Do you think it's Dorset? I'm not sure. No, I didn't think so. Cycle event, road closed here, Sunday the 11th, September 2016. We're cycling. Castleton Caves, Peveril Castle. Perryfoot, Sparrow Pit, Chapel in Lafirth. Frith. Wanted in. Wow. Wow. Google, your blur really pisses me off right now. Blue John Cavern, Chestnut something, Castleton. There's no time limit, so we could take our time, although granted, I prefer not to have another half hour video. I just think, if we're not in the Scottish Highlands, we're in the north of England, for sure. I mean, this is north. to start and go the other way. See so if we can get something quicker this way. Oh, there's yellow things in the road. Oh. Boy, I'd love to go farther than that. I hate you, new Geo Gesser Motion. I hate you. It's the Speedwell Cavern. Take an incredible underground journey by boat. Apparently, we're doing lawn service. We're not supposed to be doing lawn service today. It's Monday. Lawn service is on Wednesday. What the heck's going on out there?
Wow. It's good humor ice cream over there. Uh, I don't think it's called good humor in the United Kingdom, though. Um. Wow. I mean, it's Speedwell Caverns. Great. Jolly good. I don't, I don't know where that is. By Peveril Castle. Again, I don't know where that is either. Probably in Peveril. Welcome to Castle. Not a good sign. It's a gorgeous little town. Truly. It's all about Blue John Stone. I wish I knew where that was. That was 1884, the Blue John Craft Shop. 133 years of operation. We can go to the castle if we want. Is there a reason to do so? As opposed to just continuing through the town? I think we go through the town. I'm hoping to run onto a motorway on the other side of town. Or at least something that tells me what region this is. St. John region. I just don't know where that is. Seven minutes on one guess. a very long, sprawling town. Station. I just, I have no idea where this is. I thought it was in the north. I just don't know.
I, I just I have no clue. It's somewhere in the north. Of course not. It's down by Sheffield. Beauty. Oh, good God. European style road signs on the right hand side of the road. So the majority of Europe then. It has that kind of French feel to it though, doesn't it? Let's see if that bears out. Thank you, Google. I'm so glad you blurred that out. Not French then. Furtulac. 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 I don't. There's so many dots. There's a single dot over the U. It's very strange. Maybe it's supposed to be an X and a Q or something. has an Eastern European feel to it, maybe? Bertalan Vertod Valalcozo? Vertotavi? Kind of Estonian, maybe. This is not promising. This is super not promising. Nope, because all we're doing is turning around to go back on that road. Okay. We go this way. Hansage Fuxtorna Fox Foxtorna Wow I don't sheep I fear we've, we've received all the clues we're going to receive. What I can tell you is that I'm going to split this up into two episodes for sure. Because otherwise I'm probably going to shortchange the other three. And I'd rather do two 15s than one 30. And as it is, this is a Sunday episode anyway, so we'll just come back and play it tomorrow on Monday. Okay, more clues. This is good. They're not really any different than the clues I've already received. But they are clues. It's 
coming to a town that had enough prominence there's a church here. Fartod Fartoshent Mikolos. Fotka. I have no idea what that means. We've come seven kilometers. I know that. Cycling bins. Time to change the Piper bin, by the way. What is this language? It's Proto Utaric. That's a joke. That's a demon language from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. EU and then a, light, or a flag with the red, white, green. Construction red on the top. This is me stopping and thinking while I have some ginger ale of what that flag might be. Not sure. First thing that comes to mind is Belarus, but I don't think that Belarus has language like this. No, yeah, they, they, they use Cyrillic. Um, man, that's a great clue. It's not Hungarian. I think it's Romanian. This doesn't look like weird Italian anyway. It's not the Croatian flag for sure. I don't think it's the Czechia or Slovakian flags. It's definitely not Poland. It's definitely not Russia. It's not Lithuania because Lithuania has yellow. I think Latvia has yellow also, but I honestly don't recall. It doesn't look like the Latvian language anyway. It doesn't look Estonian. Maybe it is Czechia or Slovakia's flag. Well, I think Czechia took the old Czech Republic's flag. So it's not that. Maybe it's Slovakia. I don't know. This is very confusing. Red, white, green. Vertical alignment. Meaning the colors are vertical from what I just said. The stripes themselves are horizontal. I need my Flags of the World chart, and I don't have it handy. That's our clue. I mean, there's no question that, that that tells us everything. At least which country we're in. Red, white, green. With a Czech influenced type writing or Slovakian, maybe. Hungarian? I don't know. I have troubles with both of those languages, and everyone keeps saying, well, they're completely different. Yeah, but to, to someone who doesn't spend a lot of time with them, they look very similar. Country code 36. That looks German! Oh, God. Hmm. 
basically you're at a choice. Are you going to pick Slovakia or are you going to pick Slovenia? You're going to be on the border with Austria, whichever one you pick, because of the German. So it's just which, which one do you think it is? Well, instead of Koshik. Fortos Tmikolos. Oh. Sopron, Gior, and Pomogi Palmhagen. Sopron, I've heard of. I don't remember where, but I heard of it. Shame they're all in the country. Maybe that is the Hungarian flag. Oh, it might be. I thought the Hungarian flag had vertical stripes with a shield in the left. But obviously not, because we are between Gior and Sopron, fully in Hungary. There's Fertoshin and Kilos. There's Fertod. Esterhazy Castle was right there. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't we start in Fertosh de Plaque? No, I don't think so, because then we would... How did we come across this? We came in from the north. Fertuliak, that's where we started. Also Sarod. There's Sarod. Where's Fertuliak? Pomagans in a different country. I don't see this this place where we started at all. All right, go back to the start. We went south. North took us into Fultuyak and the thing. And then we went south. Which took us into this tiny little hamlet. tiny little canal. Now we're kind of heading going southeast. Turning back to south. These twisty turning spots. And then we get into the town itself. This does not look familiar. Kyrgyz Gartner Ira Osa Am National Park. Did I take a different turn? Is it possible to take a different turn? There's the Fertuliak Road. Mexico Pushta. All these things say Fertuliak. I think this is the canal. I think, honestly, we're up here somewhere. That might be the canal. I don't know, we're up here. 
That's real bloody close. We weren't quite that far up. So when we went north, we came here and probably did our turnaround. But if we came down this road, eventually joined this road, I think we came down through Sarod. We could have gone and seen the Esterhazis. That would have been cool. Okay, look. We're calling it right here. It's been 25 minutes for this episode alone. Uh, so the last three guesses, even if they're five minutes, so be it. They will be the next episode. And because this is a Sunday episode, it'll be tomorrow, which works out nicely. So we will continue along with this challenge. Of course, if you'd like to send in your own, you could do so. Go to geo geoguesser.com, which is what uh, Sagittarius did to create this challenge. You have to be a pro member, of course, to create your own maps. It's only a couple of bucks a month. It's really not that bad. So go ahead and check that out if you'd like to. If not, you can go, of course, to geosetter.ml, which is the new home of Geosetter. And you can use the old interface, but the maps aren't as nice and the motion's not as nice. And frankly, it's a couple of bucks to, to help the game that you love. Um, Regardless, we are out of time for today. We'll continue this challenge tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.